Godolphin homebred Maxfield ended his career on a high note with a win in the Grade 1 Clark Stakes before he retired to the Darley Stud Barn. We stopped in at John and Bell Farm and spoke with Darren Fox, as well as Maxfield's trainer, Brendan Walsh. To have Maxfield, a homebred who was born and raised here, to go on and do what he did on the track and complete the circle and come right back to his, to his birthplace is unbelievably special. We couldn't be happier to have a horse of his caliber, pedigree, physique and race record uh, to fly the flag forward uh, for us here at Johnabelle. It meant a lot to us, you know, we were very, you know, he's such a good horse, um, a, you know, he's just so talented from, from day one. You know, we were all very fond of him, um, thus we're, we're missing him. You know, he's such a, a great character as well. And it meant a lot to us, you know, he was our first, or my first grade one, um, you know, and he was just a pleasure to have through his whole career. Just a great story the whole way through. He is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. He is jaw-dropping. He is, he looks like a street sense, you know, on first impression, that same size, the physique, but he's a smoother, better looking version of street sense. We see shades of Bernardini through his head, his movement, his reach, how he uses himself. It's that jaw-dropping uh, commercial walk that every weanling and yearling purchaser looks for, and he's got it in spades. The two-year-old form is almost a cherry on top um, that you wouldn't normally expect for a horse of his profile. Breeders' Futurity at Keeneland was just jaw-dropping. You know, to be, you know, kind of a tick slow out of the gate, to be trailing the field, heading into that first turn, yet to circle the field the way he did and leave him for dust to win by five and a half was, you know, incredible. And a lot of shrewd people call that the most impressive performance by a two-year-old uh, that year. Maxfield, a breathtaking run at the top of the stretch, kicks clear by six. Maxfield to win the Claiborne Breeders' Futurity. He was actually very consistent through his whole career to win a grade one at two, won the mad win at three, and, and then went on and, and became a fantastic four-year-old. And Maxfield is the first horse in history to win uh, the Ali Sheba, the Stephen Foster, and the Clark. They were just such impressive performances. Um, a horse who is in his absolute element. He ran four triple digit buyers in his career up to a high of 105, which he did so on three separate occasions. Earned over $2 million, never off the board, in, and, and also ran in nine graded stakes. So he kept top company you know, at every start. Um, and he's just a you know, really, really special horse. We kind of miss him because he, he was always a great character. He just so, so calm with everything and he just filled you with confidence because he, he just had, had such a good temperament and, and there was never a worry about whether he, he was going to, you know, put his best foot forward. And I, you know, I think he showed that in the racetrack, he always did. He is as cool as could be, never turned a hair, just the confidence he exuded and it was just awe-inspiring to watch. His composure, his demeanor, his presence, it's just, again, it's just that X factor that you look for. When you add in like his pedigree, like his dam is a Bernardini three-part sister to Sky Mesa. You know, second dam caress, third dam la affirmed, like it's one of the best female families in the stud book. And the one thing we have confidence in is that whatever ability this horse passes on to his progeny, um, if they inherit his class and composure, they will certainly be able to demonstrate the full extent of that ability in the afternoons. He'll make a great stallion. Hopefully we can we can look forward to training some of his babies in the years to come. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment and subscribe to our channel for more content from the TDN.